the Discovery Channel's hit reality series, Dual Survival was a big hit as the show aired for a total of nine seasons. As we recall, the show follows the dangerous adventures of a wildlife expert who navigates to survive in the most extremes of situations. The original host of the show was Cody London, who had gained quite the popularity in such a short time. However, the man suddenly disappeared in the middle of Dual Survival's fourth season without a trace for a long time. So, the fans are more than eager to know what really happened to the survival expert on Dual Survival. Well, the story is a little messy and here's what you need to know. As the show first aired on the television screen, Cody was already the star of the show. With all the required skills to survive in the wall and his outstanding personality, the man was really fun to look at. As we recall, he dealt with everything out in the wild. But as things started moving ahead, things went downhill in the third season of the show. As the co-host, Dave Canterbury, made his way out, a new person was introduced for the position and the man was none other than Joseph Tetty. Midway through the fourth season, the showrunners and the Discovery Channel made an announcement of Cody's firing. The man was left out through the rest of the season and as Cody tried to respond to his firing, we could not get clear details about what exactly happened behind the scenes. Dear Campers, Unfortunately, I have been fired by Discovery Channel for differences over safety and health concerns in the show and will no longer be a part of Dual Survival, said Cody on Facebook back in 2014. Later, Discovery released a statement saying that they were struggling to get different takes on survival on the screen while they felt it was time for a change. However, Cody himself reacted on the network's announcement, saying it was inaccurate, unacceptable and untrue. Finally, it had been revealed that Joseph was to blame for his firing, who made situations unsafe for Cody. He even describes the man as a real menace.